Family, friends, and football teammates gathered in Candler today to remember 15-year-old Chris Taylor. The Inca High School student died in a car accident on Monday. News 13's Kimberly King was at the service. King, it's just been five days since this crash. How are the parents holding up? Frank, they are a strong couple, high school sweethearts who attended Anka just like their son, who was entering his sophomore year and so excited about the idea of playing on the varsity team. Love surrounded the entire family as their church was filled with caring friends. So I want to thank you. More than 500 friends packed the pews. It was standing room only at Pole Creek Baptist Church to remember Chris Taylor. His fellow Anka football teammates on stage held their heads down in reverence. Chris's jersey, his Rydell helmet, an Anka letter jacket with his name embroidered on in the center. Chris's parents spoke. It's almost always said when a young man or young woman is taken from us too soon, this is the hardest thing that a parent can do saying a final farewell, and that's because it's true. But Chris's father also remembered his son's quirky sense of humor. He told us one time we had a, some problem or something that had messed up, and he said that the cheese had slid off the cracker, and <laughs> we still don't know what that means, but... It was laughter amidst much pain. Teammates remembered how much Chris loved football. As his mom, Letitia, sat with us, she reflected on what happened Monday. It was surreal. My old Mitchell, the oldest, called and said, Mom, you've got to get to the end of the road. Something's wrong with brother. He's hurt bad. Just go. She says she will never forget that call. It's just still raw. It's still so raw. But his parents are still thankful for the support in this church. Again, as we think of Chris and the joy and the smiles and the happiness. This kid truly was always smiling. He was uh, a joy to be around. Chris has an older brother and sister he adored, his parents now mindful of them. We still have two children to parent that we're here for and they're going to need us and we need them. We've got to keep on going for him and to go on with our lives and, and try to share some of those smiles and be kind to others. He wouldn't want us to stop. Chris's good friend was driving the car when the accident happened. His family says they know it was an accident, and they have even embraced him as so many there are grieving together.